Okay, so as you can see, I took the string off and I put a little uh, piece of tie wrap in there so that the I left it a little long so that those two wires stay together and they won't go down in the hole. And the next step <coughs> is to get the um, uh, flat servo horn and screw that in. So I'll get out my bag that has all the flap stuff in it. Okay. And uh, these should be identical. Don't think there's any difference between them. And uh, so I'm going to run it through the quick connect and uh, screw it down. And then um, in a few minutes after I get the other wing done too, we'll turn these all on, check the servo horns. But I'm not going to tighten anything on the quick connect yet. All I want to do is get the um, um, the flap um, servo horn put on. Let's see here. So um, I take my tweezers. Hold these tiny little screws. That's a nice tiny little screw. Don't lose it. I'm working on the edge of the of the table here, so I'm gonna slide this back up a little bit in case I drop it. Maybe it won't come off the table. Alright, so that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there, and the electric screwdriver will get it started. Tiny little screw, needs a pair of tweezers. Okay, hole is lined up reasonably. Okay, now remember this uh, flap is still pinned, and that's okay because that's what I want. I'm not going to cut that pin off um, until we're got the radio on and everything is set. And I'm going to do this last little bit of tightening of this screw by hand so I don't strip it or anything. Okay. Okay. So um, that wing is done. I'll be back in a second as soon as I finish the other wing. Also at this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the push rod for the uh, uh, aileron on. And uh, instructions do say it goes in the outermost hole. Um, that will give it the um, probably the most throw. Uh, but a lot. It, it certainly will give it the gentlest um, uh, uh, feel for it uh, when you're flying. A gentle feel for it when you're flying. I'm not going to put the silicone keepers on yet until I get everything set up and I know it's right where I want it. So um, that's on and uh, be back in a second. Okay. Um, Everything's set up. There's no um, uh, screws in the quick connects yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the um, uh, switch, the Spectrum um, switch, to uh, make it easier to turn the receiver on and off. So I've got the receiver uh, connected. The flaps uh, are connected to one Y connector. The the uh, Ailerons are connected to the other Y connector, and I'm going to plug the uh, on side of the switch into the gear channel. So, gear channel on side of the switch. Okay, the off side of the switch uh, has the two wires on it. I'm going to plug the battery into. The only one I can on the on on the off side of the switch, and 
There we go. Okay, so now I got the switch on. Uh, in the circuit, at least, not on. Uh, grab the radio, turn it on. And let's see. I got to switch models because I was flying with this one. Okay, so I'm on the right model and I'm going to turn the switch on. Okay, both of the lights are on and everything's good. So now, um, and you do this without the uh, horns on. So now that that uh, servo, uh, I'm just sorry, without the um, um, screws into the quick connects, so that allows the um, things to recenter. Um, and I'm going to take my uh, three three thirty second um, hex driver, and I'm going to go ahead and. Put it in here without any um, um, thread lock at this point. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure I can get it tested and everything works. Okay, so that's one there, and I don't know if you saw that or not. I'm going to start this. Okay. Remember that this this um, flap is still pinned, so I'm just going to move the aileron to where it's even. Okay, so I I made sure it was even here, and I made sure it was even here, and so those are even. And uh, I'll test the. Um, let's see who we got here. This is the left panel so I'm going to go to the right and that should go down and this should um, I'm sorry that one should go up which means toward the table and this one should go that way okay it's up and up so that's working fine okay um, <clears throat> I'll be back in a second um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use to cut this with um, let me get a uh, exacto knife and I'll be right back. 